Hi everybody, it's Dollar Tree Trisha. I did a video a couple days ago uh, showing you this card that I had made into a notebook from uh, the Posh Paper Lady and I put the link on my site or in, I'm sorry, in the description <laughs> box. And I wanted to let you know that I came up with another idea to make this instead of with a Christmas card from the Dollar Tree, I'm gonna make it out of paper. So the supplies that you are going to need is, and um, most of these supplies are from the Dollar Tree. This is pop dot tape. I call it foam tape. So if you hear me call it foam tape, that's what this is. And I got that for a dollar from the Dollar Tree. I don't have the bag or the thing that that came in, but it, these were a pack of three, Crafter Square, but this is double-sided tape, okay? Or I like to call it score tape. You're also going to need this pop dot adhesives. These are little squares that you we will use individually to pop some decorations up. You will also need, from the Dollar Tree, a notepad. I am using the 150 one, and it's white, but there are other ones that come in um, 100, and they have colored papers inside. Like there's pink and green and blue and yellow, but I, from what I'm doing, I wanted it to be white. Okay, take these away. You're also going to need... And this is personal preference. I use a Sharpie to outline things, and you'll see as I'm doing this what I mean. But I got this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Just one of, I mean, it comes one to a pack. You're also going to need a bone folder. This is an old bone folder. I don't know. It came in a kit because it's made by Plaid, and Plaid was a long time ago scrapbooking company that you would uh, <laughs> buy things from. And I think this came in a kit of some sort, but you'll need a bone folder. You can buy them at Joann's, Michael's, or Hobby Lobby. And I have some scrap ribbon here that I'm going to use. This is three feet. Uh, three feet is a little long for this, and you'll see when I go to tie it. But um, I just had the scrap piece, so that's what I'm going to use. You're also going to need to have chipboard that is have two of them that are cut to six and one eighth and four and an eighth and then you need one that is one half by six and one eighth and I just cut this from a uh, 12 by 12 sheet of, of chipboard but you could probably use cereal boxes I don't know if there's you might be able to, but I they sell it at the scrapbook stores. It's not very expensive. Then, also, you're going to need a pair of scissors. These are just scissors that I had. You're going to need a... You're going to need a scoreboard. This scoreboard is um, mine from Stamping Up. We Are Memory Keepers sells a scoreboard. Uh, I think Martha Stewart has a scoreboard, and you can buy them at Joann's, Michael's, or Hobby Lobby. Not the Stamping Up one, but the other ones, too, that I mentioned. If you want this one, you have to get it from StampingUp.com. Okay. The paper that I'm using is called Vintage Girl by Photo Play. I am using this piece to be the front of my book. I'm using this piece to be in the inside of the book and this piece to be the cover of the notepad. And then they have a sticker sheet, so I'm gonna use some of the stickers off of the sticker sheet and I am gonna use one three by four card that I just cut out of the paper. Okay, oh, this you can get at photoplay.com photoplaypaper.com. It's an older line. I don't really know when I got it, but I I don't know if it's still around or not. 
Okay, then you're gonna need, this is my, my cover, my front of the book. You need a 10 by seven piece. And then you need for the inside of the book, an eight and seven eighths by six. And then for the notepad, you need a four by seven. Okay, so now we're gonna start with this piece, the front of the book. After you have your paper cut, you bring your scoreboard in here. Um, and you put your paper on here. Now, I already have my marked for the eighth of an inch. And this is and what's nice about the Stamping Up one, and I don't know if the We Are Memory Capers does it or not, but this uh, has a mark that you can move around. You can pull it out and put it wherever you want it to be and have it marked. So what we're going to do is we are going to do the scoring. Whoops, don't take your paper with it. And I usually run down it twice and not a, not a lot of pressure. And we're gonna turn it so that each one, each side of it will get a score. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that. Turn it again. my glasses on. Okay. Doesn't matter if you go off a little bit. I mean, try and stay on it. Like I had, it didn't mark it. I wasn't pushing hard enough that it mattered. Okay, and then we're back to where we started at. So then we're going to take that away. And now what we're going to do is, I don't know if you can see that very good, but there is score marks there. And what we're going to do is fold it over on here. Okay. And then I like to take my bone folder and just push it down a little bit. Not hard, just a little bit. Then we fold this side in. And then we fold this side in. And it's easy to fold on the little score marks. Once you have your score line, it's very easy. Very easy to do it. It folds really nice. Because you can feel where you had scored it and it just bend it up. Very easy. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take our, this is our double-sided adhesive from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to put it, actually, I can't remember if we burnished, I think I'm going to do this first. I'm going to burnish my corners, sorry about that. And all you do is, there's a little square here, and... You just trim it, trim it. There's no right or wrong way. If you don't get it trimmed enough, you can stick it in because the very first one I made, I had to do that. Now we're gonna put our adhesive on the edges here, on the inside edge. Not on this part, but on the inside. I hope you can see that. Gonna do that. And this this tape is really super easy. It just tears, which works out well. Like I said, Dollar Tree has really um, come a long way with their crafting products. This tape is wonderful. It's every bit as good as this score tape this is a name brand and it's called score tape and this is a big roll um but it's a lot more expensive and you can also get it in other sizes like here's a smaller and then they even have smaller but honestly for a dollar and you get three rolls <laughs> it's amazing i love it okay so then put this one down 
And then I like to do this. I like to go over my tape with my bone folder so that it's completely sealed down. And I do that whether it's dollar store one um, or the other one. Now me, I always say, people say, is there something that you couldn't live without scrapbooking? For me, it's tweezers. I have these long claws. <laughs> so for me, it's, uh, it's a little difficult to uh, pull things up. And even when I have shorter nails, I still, I, I just love my tweezers because <laughs> they are just amazing. And these are some fun ones. I don't even know where I got these from. Um, oh, you know, I do. I, we had a, a store called Dollar Cents that it's sort of like the Dollar Tree, but it was called Dollar Cents. And it uh, went out of business, but I had bought um, a couple of these and I just thought they're super cute. Super, super, super cute. Okay, now you're gonna bring in your pieces of chipboard, okay? And what we wanna do, um, I have tape on them that I need to pull off. Okay, so we're gonna take this and we're going to bump it up to the edge of the book and keep it in the score lines but you want to get it as close up to here as you can okay and put it down then we don't take these off back over here thank you very much see and it's fine it just blues back down and then we're going to want to do this as close to the edge as well so i can see where we want it to go okay all right then you take your metal piece and now if you're looking at my pieces they're not trimmed awesome because the blade that I had um and the cutter that I was using uh got dull as it will because that <laughs> the cutter I used is really not so is not used for cutting chipboard but it's all I had. Next time I'll do it with an X-Acto knife, but it's still, it's fine. And you put this one in the middle, your half by six and one eighth, and you just want it so that it's like in the middle of everything. And then you lay it down. All right, then furnish over to make sure it's stuck down really good. Then we go around with the tape again. Okay. In this corner. And once again, I go around like this. Then I take I'll do this side. Sorry, I spun that so fast. <laughs> I forget that it's on camera and not just for me. And you pull this off, okay? And then what you do 
is you fold this part up and it will stick right there. Then you peel this one off. I'm sorry about my nails. I know they don't look good. I'm going Thursday to have them done. <laughs> I couldn't get in before then. I just, uh, my schedule is so busy. And now I'm just going to, you can do it piece by piece. I'm just going to pull it all off right now. And then, no, we'll stay on there. wants to be he just want to be my friend today there we go you got to show it who's boss and to skip this piece of paper oh there we go i was gonna have to cut it but it didn't okay and then you fold the next side over and then the next side over And then the next side over. See, and how I said it doesn't matter. Mine's, I don't like how that looks. Bing, all gone. Now I don't even have to worry about it. Okay, so now I'm going to go over it with my bone folder. All right, now I gotta make sure I want my words going the right way. So, and they are, so now I'm gonna put it like this. And now we are going to put our eight and seven eighths piece by six on here. There we go. Okay, so make sure I want to look at my book again, make sure it's going the right way. And it is. So then you take this piece and you put it over this and just make sure you have equal showings here. I think that looks good. Bring it back in. Okay, and then you start working your spine a little bit. Like, see, that's where that went. The other one is here. And then we have the base of our book. All right, now we are going to cover the top of our notepad and this is a four by seven piece and this is what we're going to do with this you start at the bottom okay and you want to get it as close to the bottom as you can and the edge okay and you're going to go over a little bit and tear it. Then we're going to do it again. And it doesn't have to be exact. Oh, look at that. I bent my thing. That's all right. Then we're going to put tape down the rest just to hold the paper. Okay. Now I have some little pieces sticking out over. I'm just going to trim them off. But make sure you pull them off the scissors right away because otherwise they won't stick to your scissors and then you have to use goo gone or something 
something else to get it off. And the dollar store does sell Goo Gone. Um, I keep it in my um, craft bag so that if I go somewhere and something gets stuck, I just can peel it off. Okay, now these, don't peel those off all the way yet. But the middle ones, you can. Whoops. Okay. And then that one, not all the way off yet. Okay. Um, I'm using this pink side, but the paper is double-sided. You can use whatever side that you would like. So now I'm going to start down here. And put this on. There. Okay. Then we're going to flip it over and we're going to pull these off. And then, see, I didn't need as long of a trail as I left, and that's fine because we're going to stick it down here so it doesn't it doesn't even matter so now we are going I usually go over it just to just cuz put more adhesive on the back and it doesn't have to be straight straight lines I'm not an exact I'm not an exact scrapbooker that's why I don't do quilts and things like that because I just can't I have to be, I have to have room for error. And if something happens, you know, we say there's never a mistake. It's a way to use your creativity. Never a mistake. If you, you know, because if you make a mistake, you can cover it up or put something over it. It's really not a big deal. But I can't even tell you how long it took me to understand that because when I first started scrapbooking, <laughs> I was pretty um OCD about how it had to be thank goodness I'm not like that anymore. I'm, I'm not gonna say I have given it up completely but I'll, I'll say this I'm not as bad <laughs> as I was before because sometimes it would take me hours to figure out a page because everything had to be just so and I think just years of me doing it as well that you know, you get better at things as time goes on. And I think as you get older, stuff doesn't bug you as much, which I love. That's one thing I have loved about getting older is that you do not sweat the small stuff. Okay, so now that is all sticky. And now we're going to put this down on this side of the book. And I try to line it up with the where the score line is. Okay. And there we go. Now we can decorate. Woohoo! Okay. Okay. I'm gonna use this three by four card that I like. I gotta find my Sharpie. There it is. I love to outline everything. I think it just helps things to pop and be just super cute. And it doesn't have to be completely straight. It doesn't have to be, you know, it can be wiggly and nobody cares. And I like to do those because they look like little stitches or, you know, whatever. Okay. Then, now I'm going to get my um, foam tape that I have here from the Dollar Tree. Oops, there's a little piece of tape over it. Okay. Now all I'm going to need is um, three strips. One, two, and three. Alright, push those 
down with my handy dandy bone folder. You can tear it if you want as well. Okay, so now it's nice and sticky. Okay, I'm going to put it in the center. And there's my cover. It says Butterfly Sayings and Fairy Tales, and it has that beautiful um, vase of flowers. Okay, now we're going to decorate the inside. And this was a sticker from the sticker pack, and I just want it to go in here like, I move my big finger so I can see. I want it to go like right here. And I'm just gonna put that flat. Then I'm going to use this sticker, but I want to pop it up. So I'm going to use these smaller pop dots from the Dollar Tree to do that. And you get two sheets. And see, this is another reason I like my tweezers as well, because I'm pulling these off and I want them to pop, to pop up. Now I make a lot of I do a lot of these because I like, I just like to, because <laughs> I would, I just don't want one part of it not to be popped up. You could use, I could have used the foam tape on the bottom, but I don't think the foam tape and these pop little squares, I don't think they're the same height. I think that these are a little higher. So that's why I didn't go with that. Okay. And um, when you're gonna put pop dots all over, you don't have to um, make your sticker unsticky. It actually helps to um, keep it the sticker sticky just so that um, it sticks just a little better. Okay, so I love that. How you would make a sticker unsticky is you would get baby powder. This is an EK Tools, um, it has baby powder in it and a brush. And what you would do is take this, rub it on it. But what I started using before these ever came out, I don't know how I didn't invent this thing because I was using baby powder long before people, before this thing came out. And what I would use is just a little, um, you know, travel size of the Johnson & Johnson. And I would just dab some on it and then over a trash can just push it off so it would, it would be sticky. But no, <laughs> I didn't think of that. <laughs> Oh, you know, all those million dollar ideas that, you know, you wish you would have thought of. But that's okay. That's how it goes. So this one is a sticker, so it's gonna, it's still sticky. Like I want it to be. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I wanna put a piece here, but this is wider than I want it to be. So I'm gonna cut it in half and take the half that I want, which would be either one, I don't care which one, and put one there and put one there. Now remember, if you're gonna cut your pop dots, Always do it on the sheet. Don't take it off and then try and do it because this keeps your scissors from getting gooey. They don't get gooey and they don't stick together. Bear with me because this is my very, very first video tutorial trying to get this right for you guys. So I'm, they will get better, believe me, as the time goes on. So I loved this little bike, which was a sticker from the sticker pack that was in the paper line. So I loved that. And then I'm gonna put this, but I think I'm gonna adhere it flat. 
So since I'm going to adhere it flat, normally I, whoops, normally I would use adhesive, but I'm going to just use this double-sided tape because it's right here and it's from the Dollar Tree and it's awesome. I'm going to cut it so it will fit nicer and find my tweezer and pull it up. Sorry, my, <laughs> like I, you, I showed you, this is a messy, this is how I work. <laughs> you should see this side of my table. It's very messy. And then I'm going to put this on here that says, you are amazing. And there is my book. Now, I'm going to use this ribbon to tie it together. What I forgot to do and what I was going to do with this ribbon was when I had this sheet down with the adhesive, I was going to put this down and then put this paper, the green paper on top of it so it would be attached. But I, in the, all the excitement of everything, I forgot. So I'm just going to take this Put it around the book. And you guys are going to laugh when you see me tie. I don't tie like normal people because I guess when I was a kid, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I do the two bunny hoops or ears or whatever and pull it through. I'm telling you. There we go. So let's just say. So and I'm going to, whoops, won't do it if there's glue on it. I'm going to do, cut the, the little tag, miss the little, I don't know what they're called, ribbon, I don't know, little ends. Okay, now this is where, if you, if I had um, shaggy ends on the end of this, but these are okay, you could take that lighter and burnish it. But, so here we go. This is the book, and it's made from paper. And I'm keeping this one for myself because I love it. And I'm going to, I'll put it in my purse probably and carry it around with me. Okay, so if you're, sorry about hitting the camera. If you're not a subscriber, uh, please subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified of any more videos that I put up. And I really appreciate your patience with me and walking me through this. Thank you so much.